engagement. Um, I guess Mr. Dennis Holder has story time for us today. working. Uh, we, we have in the, what will eventually be, I hope, our kitchen. Uh, we have a heat alarm. So that because we figured, you know, if somebody goes in there or cooking something and they burn it, of course that would never happen in a real kitchen, but it might in this kitchen. Uh, because they might be so involved in being in here that they forget they got something on the stove. And we wanted, so they put a heat alarm in there so that if the smoke arises, it won't set off the alarm. But if it gets really, really hot, I can't remember what temperature. They told me the temperature. I don't remember it right off the top of my head. But it will just set off the alarm. It'd be just like a smoke alarm. And then they put, they, have, they fixed some of the smoke alarms in there. They actually up front here and in the and back in here, they put a, some uh, strobes with noise makers on it so you can hear it. If you listen real closely, you know, you might be able to hear it go off. In fact, we're going to set it off so you know what it sounds like. But in, before we do it, you know what's supposed to happen when, the, when you hear the smoke alarm goes off? You get up and you go out the door or out the door and everyone's supposed to just go out and stand there. The odd thing about it is because we're on one, they call it one campus, and the buildings are attached by our breezeway there, that even if the alarm goes off in here, they have to leave and go outside even from that building, and the same is true there. If the alarm goes off in that building, we have to leave. We can't just sit here, look out the window, and go, wow, look at the flames coming out. Wow, that's so neat, or that's awful, or you know, whatever. You know, I kind of like fire, so. But uh, not that I'll light anything on fire. But you know, I mean, you watch it smoke boil out or something. It'd be really interesting. But we have to get out of air conditioning comfort and go out and stand out there in the in the lawn somewhere away from the building. But that's what we're supposed to do. And we're if we're in here and you can't get out. Yell so somebody can help you. So some people they move kind of slow. Sometimes I move kind of slow. So you gotta get if you need help getting out. But you know what? You don't have to take anything with you because if the building doesn't burn down, you don't. You can just come back and get your stuff. But you're not supposed to have stuff in your hands when you leave. You leave your. You can leave your Bible there, your purse, your suitcase, your umbrella, whatever. You just leave it all there, and just wander outside that's that's the rules now someplace in between is probably what's really going to happen <laughs> but that's all right as long as you're away from the fire and you're safe that's the big thing that's why we have an alarm right now andy is going to set the alarm off here right now maybe We have a little silence button on it, just make it silent. I think, yeah, see the strobe is still working. So, but that's, that's what it sounds like. So did you all, anybody not hear that? <laughs> uh, pardon me? Yes, they know we're doing a test. So, uh, so, uh, but 
you know, the strobes will continue going. Well, actually, unless we push the button, it would continue going. Can't quite hear it, but actually, in the the room rooms over there in the in the classrooms, I think the alarms are still going because they're on they're on a different circuit. But um, we can't hear them because the windows are closed. But you know, you heard that, so that's your that's your uh, the message to go outside and do it safely. Don't push. Don't shove. Don't try to crash through a window or anything like that. Just Use the doors, you have exit signs. Even at night, if the lights go out, there's lights above that door, and there's lights right, right beside the door. And if the lights go out, you just, you'll still have light enough from these lights, the mercy lights, to go on out and just follow the exit signs. So God has protected this building all year long. And he go ahead and shut the strobes off. So, but he's protected us all year long with no fires in here. And that's cool. And you know what? He also wants to protect you for the big fire at the end of the world. And I have a little thing here that says fireproof. Because he kind of warned us that we can be fireproof. I put my glasses on because I was going to read something out of Matthew. Because I, I heard something last night. I was listening to a little thing. And we can't look up and see it there. Uh, <laughs> that there's 118 prophecies in the Bible regarding Jesus coming again. 118 of them. Now, he didn't list them out because that would take quite a while. But all but 10 of them had been already fulfilled. That's a lot of them already being fulfilled. And. Uh, in fact, this is written a few years ago. It says, uh, when Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to speak to him privately. Right, come on, he's all messed up. Tell us, what will be the signal for your coming and the end of the age? Jesus replied, take care that no one misleads you. For many will come claiming my name and saying, I am the Messiah. And many will be misled by them. Then, if anyone says to you, look, here is the Messiah, or there he is, do not believe it. Imposters will come claiming to be Messiahs or prophets, and they will produce great signs and wonders to mislead even God's chosen. If such a thing were possible, see that I have forewarned you. If they tell you he is in the wilderness, do not go out, or they say he is in the inner room, do not believe it. The time is coming when you hear noise of battle and the news of battles far away. See that you are not alarmed. Such things are bound to happen, but the end will still come, or is still to come. For nation will make war upon nation, kingdom upon kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in many places. With all these things, the birth pains of the new age are just beginning. That's, I guess it goes off. Uh, the, that's just the beginning of everything. And you're hearing about all that even today and last week and the last couple of weeks. You know, the wars and rumors of wars, but you hear people following a prophet or a messiah, and they're doing all these evil things because of that. But you know better because God, God in the Bible wants to keep you fireproof from the end of time and to the end of time. And he can do that by just learning that he is the creator God. He started everything, and he's going to finish everything in his will and his time. Shoot your bare heads for prayer. Dear Lord, I want to thank you for the information you've given us in the Bible, that you are the creator. You will always be the creator. And that we need to follow you and, and no one else. People can talk about you, and if they say the right things, maybe there's some light in them, but there's always light that shines forth through you. And help us to be that light to shine forth for other people so we may become the missionaries that we need to be. And thank you for making us fireproof. For Jesus' sake, amen. Thank you.
Thank you.